Hello, this is Dr. Z, or to some Dr. James. I would like to review uh, our makeup plan for week four. According to your assignment, it says to make a plan. And how will you show which side has a better argument? And if we look at our assignment, we have a road and it splits and it's going two ways. Your assignment for this week is to choose the argument that you think is stronger, that either the minimum wage should be raised or the minimum wage should not be waged. Hello, we're on page two. One of the things I want to review with you is that you should always know what type of grade you're going to get. You can determine the grade yourself. Okay, but in the grading, there are three components. One is the criteria, one is the rating, and one is the point. Under criteria, there are three elements. One is, is the plan complete? Is the plan on time? Is the plan clear? What they're looking for is, does your plan have a lot of details? Not just one word, two words, or one sentences. Uh, and does it answer the question or the step? That's plan, is the plan complete? Is the plan on time? Is it turned in by the due date? Or is the plan clear? Is it easy to read? Does it make sense? Is the spelling and grammar errors? Maybe one or two. Uh, and, and you need to work at it. And as I said again, there are spell uh, checkers, on free spell checkers on the internet. They, uh, they don't always catch all your grammatical errors or your, or your spelling errors, but they catch most of them. And Google is very good at that. Uh, if you satisfy all the criteria, the three components, then you can get a six, which I would say is an A. Uh, if you just give some detail, not very much, you only get one point. And if you if you don't turn it if you turn it in one day late, you can lose a point unless you tell me uh, that you have a problem or issue. But you need to get to me before the assignment is due, and that your plan is mostly clear, only three or four spelling errors, which means you have increased from one to two to three or four, one point. So you could have six points, but what? The second one, you're only going to get three. On the end, when you're not doing anything, it's zero. The plan is not complete. The plan is more than one day late. And the plan is not clear. Of course, you can revise your plan within a, I say, right away. And you can bring your points up. But... Being that you're trying to stay on target, try not to have to revise, but I will allow you to revise your plan to make to bring it up to uh, what it should be. And for this we decide which side you think has a better argument to raise the minimum wage or not raise the minimum wage. Think about the reasons why you support that size. Use facts from the articles and from uh, the uh, cartoons that we had. And you might find some new information that's not included in what we have, but let us know where you get it from. Okay, fill out the planning sheet so that you will be ready to write your argument essay. And if you do the plan, writing the essay is easy. Then, Dr. James. Bye. On page three, 
we're going to look at writing tips you might use when writing your plans and essay. Again, I want to make it known this information is a suggestion. It's not a requirement. It will help you to begin to write an academic paper or any paper. As you write your plan and argument essay, consider referencing or noting where you obtained your information from. For example, uh, Lapoon, the, the system, shows in a cartoon the reasons for being against raising the minimum wage because. Or Philly.com is an article, two arguments in the minimum wage debate. Or, according to Shin, one McDonald's worker describes her budget. This is just an idea to give you how to go about it. And you may also copy and paste the references that are following this and place them at the end of your paper to show the reader references you use to write your plan and essay. These are the references from the articles and the cartoons that you had for week four. And you may put them at the end of both of your papers, the one for the essay, if you use any, any references from this list, or the one for the essay. That will show that you are learning how to uh, reference your work. Page four, please write complete sentences and refer to the articles and cartoons to help you to answer the questions. You will support your answers and have va valid examples. Always put the na your name and date on your papers and the title of your assignment, My Argument Plan. Okay, number one is say which side do you think has a better argument? The minimum wage should be raised or the minimum wage should not be raised. You w w might want to consider thinking, uh, I think the better argument is either the minimum wage should be raised or something like that. Make a complete sentence and then justify your answer. Number two, what is one reason that supports your side of the argument and you would want to make a complete statement. One reason uh, that supports my side of the argument and give that reason where you get the information from and how do you come to that conclusion. Okay, it says number three is what one specific example that you can give to show that reason. Okay, again you refer to the article that you uh, stated that reason and, and make it plain. That'll make it good and help uh, justify your answer and make it a valid answer and it shows that you're not pulling it off the top of your head. Okay, the next question, number four, what is the second reason that supports your, your side of the argument? Again, you say, this, my second re the second reason that I have that supports my side of the argument, you know, make it a complete sentences and so we're not grasping to find out what are you talking about are you making us know what we're talking about whenever you do a paper make it so that no one can ask questions because you have answered most of the logical questions that a person can answer and then it says what is one specific example that you could give to show that reason alright I've told you that Okay, and you want to end it, you just don't want to blunt and then kind of summarize it. You know, even though this is a plan, summarize it. And then if you want to, if you use uh, some of the uh, references that we had, we had four, four, we have two articles and two cartoons. If you use them, feel free to use the cut and paste of the references. And you can um, cut and paste them just like you see them. And this will begin you on the way for really writing. Um, so I look forward to reading your plan and also from reading uh, your essay. 
And for those who have not participated in our discussion for the first part of the uh, week, we look ask you to come and pay us a visit. Again, thank you for listening. Thank you for t participating. And I'm looking to see some great plans. All right, this is Dr. James. Goodbye.